Hi, we're glad you're here. Dr. Sherry Kohlberg is Director of Exercise Physiology for Insulite Labs. She's been developing exercise protocols that focus on the prevention and management of insulin-related disorders. She's a professor of exercise science at Old Dominion University in Norfolk, Virginia. Dr. Kohlberg is also the Executive Director of the Lifelong Exercise Institute. She's authored numerous articles and eight books, including the Diabetic Athlete's Handbook, and Biggest Loser, Matt Hoover's Guide to Life, Love, and Losing Weight. Dr. Kohlberg, there are a lot of different exercise programs. And my question to you is, why is the Insight Lab exercise program likely to help succeed where others don't? Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever known anybody who started an exercise program before and then dropped out? <laughs> I've done that plenty of times. You know, I, I've done a lot of research and I've had subjects that I've put on training programs and one of them said to me, you know, I feel so great now. I found myself again. And then after the program ended, I said, well, how are things going? I'd actually given her a six-month membership to the Y. And she said, oh, I'm, I'm not going anymore. And I thought, what happened to that finding yourself? Right. So, you know, keeping those kind of experiences in mind, uh, I developed the, the program that we're using for Insulite Labs. And it has some really unique features that I think make it stand out from others that make success um, almost guaranteed with this program. One of them is that it really emphasizes being a two-part program. There's one part, which is the more traditional type of exercise we think of, and we're calling that exercise as medicine because, as you know, there are so many benefits that you get from exercise, and particularly if you have diabetes. I mean, it can help alleviate depression. It can certainly help you manage your blood sugar. It can just make you feel good, and it helps you know, get rid of that fatigue feeling you get, even when it's just at the end of the day. So that more structured program is really important, um, and it includes working into doing aerobic and resistance types training. But, you know, what makes it really unique is that we don't push that up front, and we don't say you have to do this, and you have to do this, and, and uh, if you don't, you've failed. I mean, so many of these programs, people want to succeed, but they just can't because it, it's not even a matter of willpower. It's a matter of retraining the way that they think. Um, so really we start more with a, a life in motion sort of thing where we have people just standing up more, fidgeting, you know, walking around when they're talking on the phone and just taking more steps, being more conscious of being ad active during the day, even just fidgeting, moving more. And we move from there into doing the more structured exercise, but the progression of it is very slow, taking into account that, you know, one of the things that makes a lot of people drop out is that they'll get injured. So we prevent injuries by not pushing anything too fast, but, you know, looking at the goal as long term, you know, this is a lifelong activity that you're planning on doing. There's no magic goal that you have to reach by the end of uh, one month or six months even, but there is a long-term goal, and that's to be healthy, and that's what's re really important, I think. Um, you know, something else that really makes it unique is is just that it's part of uh, a multi-part system, a, a system that doesn't just look at exercise, but also incorporates improvements in diet. Now, w one thing we know is that a lot of people are actually addicted to carbohydrates. Would you say that for yourself? Oh, definitely. Yes, and it's it's a uh, actually more uh, addictive than uh, some narcotics that people may use recreationally. So, one thing that we've tried to do is really uh, we know that th those. Carbohydrates are addictive because they re release certain chemicals in your brain. We know that exercise does that as well. So the plan is coordinated with kind of getting yourself off of carbohydrates but replacing those same hormones with uh, activity that releases them. And so you don't actually go through the kind of withdrawal, and it allows you to stay with the program. And that really is a unique feature. That makes a lot of sense. So remember, you know, we start with baby steps and we make this part of your lifestyle, and uh, replace those potato chips with walking. Absolutely. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.